The Japanese harpoon ship, the Yushinmaru-2, has finally been spotted by the Sea Shepherds. The confrontation is only hours away. They have the same heading as we have. The crew work furiously to put into action Paul Watson's radical plan to create a hostage situation. Before Potsy and Giles board the Yushinmaru-2, the Sea Shepherds will use stink bombs in an effort to clear the deck of the harpoon ship. Then they'll deploy a prop fowler. These heavy ropes are intended to tangle and disable the ship's propellers. If we can get a wire or a rope into the props, then we can uh, shut down the boat. We've never been able to foul the prop of a really big ship. I can imagine disabling a big ship like that would be a mess. A good deal. Well, we have this well, one chemical that uh, we had donated, which is a, a slippery substance that, if uh, thrown onto the deck and mixed with water, it makes it impossible to walk on the deck. It's really simple. There's nothing fancy to it. Four scoops in a paper bag that we've packed pretty tight. Put a couple of wads of tape around it. it goes under their deck, breaks open, and there you have it. I think the slippery, you know, bombs are a good tactic, especially with the little slogans and writings on them. It's good. There you go. Yeah. If all goes as planned, Watson will then send Potsy and Giles to board the Japanese ship. Once they're on board, they're just going to stand still holding the letter in their hands. I think that's very non-threatening. I think it makes it really clear that they're not there to cause harm or to, to be terrorists or to be violent. Everything is in place. The Sea Shepherds are ready to execute the plan. Every time we approach the Japanese whalers, we once again remind them that they're in complete violation of the law. We let them know that their operations are criminal. If they don't remove themselves from those waters, then we act against them. Yushinmaru, Yushinmaru, Yushinmaru. This is the Steve Irwin, the Sea Shepherd vessel Steve Irwin. Do you copy? Over. Yushinmaru, Yushinmaru, this is Steve Irwin. Uh, if you don't want to respond, I'm just going to inform you that your entire whaling operation has been officially banned by the government of Australia. Many experts say that what the Japanese whalers are doing is legal based on current laws. But the Sea Shepherds disagree. Watson's philosophy, inspired by the art of war, is about to come to life as 34 Sea Shepherds prepare to put their beliefs and methods to the test. When you're strong, you make yourself appear weak. If you're weak, you make yourself appear strong. Bait the enemy, pretend to be disorganized, then strike. Attack when the enemy is unprepared. Appear when you are not expected. The leader who wins makes careful plans. The inflatable boat is now just minutes away from the Yushin Maru 2. The helicopter's like right on us. The crew of the inflatable will be out of radio range, so the bridge relies on helicopter pilot Chris Altman to keep them informed. <laughs> After weeks of preparation and training, it's time for action. You just don't know what to expect what defenses they're going to have. We had a lot of ideas and rumors about what they might try to do. The small inflatable heads towards the 1,000-ton Japanese ship. This is the volunteers' first taste of real action. Oh, my God. The experienced Japanese sailors are ready for them with high-pressure water cannon.
Dave Jennings makes several direct hits with the butyric acid bombs. The Japanese crew will now have to endure the nauseating odor for days. Of the butyric acid, right? Uh, they, they ran out of butyric acid. That's confirmed. Yeah, and the other stuff? It's all out. They want to deploy the prop fowler, hoping to slow the ship down. Deployment is mistimed, and the prop fowler is too far from the Yushin Maru to be sucked into the ship's propellers. I don't have the slightest idea what they're doing. With the prop fowler having failed, the Japanese vessel starts gaining speed and distance. Bring them, bring them back. Uh, Roger, could you uh, relay to them to return to the ship ASAP? Copy that. Return to the ship, return to the ship, over. Copy. Potsy and Giles are now faced with the dangerous challenge of boarding a speeding ship rather than a disabled one. Looks like she's running away at about sort of northeast. They've almost gained a mile in the last 20 minutes. It's uh, very much a hot pursuit, and it's a hot pursuit in naval terms, and that it can last many several hours, it can even last several days, but uh, make no mistake about it, they're running from us, and uh, when they're running, they're not whaling, so this is a conservation action as we speak. Yeah, 